And Clyde Edwards, Elair, and Nick Brosset are back deep. And LSU will start at the 25 yard line. Justin Jefferson was the motion man, and it's Burrow off play action on first down and going deep for Jefferson. Got him! One play and a big one to Justin Jefferson. Well, he's become the go-to guy in this offense. He's had three games with five catches. And Justin Jefferson, who wasn't a big-time recruit, but great bloodlines. Quick hand up and a quick drop there, David Reese. Now it was Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, one of the captains of the defense. The key didn't play against Kentucky, and that hurt him in that game. Quick snap by LSU, and it's out in the flat. To Brosette down the sideline, and he's got a first down. Down around the four-yard line. Burrow, the quick slant. They've got the first down inside the four-yard line. First and goal. LSU, D. Anderson goes 6-6 to just box out. Brosette. Easy touchdown, LSU, on their opening drive. His seventh of the year. The 36% team on third down. Franks has time, lofts it, and he lofted it too far into the Tigers' sideline. Yeah, A wobbler, fair caught at around the 22 or 23 yard line by Jonathan Giles. And he moving that safety over helped the play. Nice throw and catch to the outside of the first down. Stephon Sullivan and a pickup of 11. Again, they have the motion, same look and play. Edward Zeller, nice move in the lane in the traffic. And now he's just taking guys with him. What a run. <laughs> Come. And again, they fake it. Now look out from behind. Joe Burrow balls out. I think they're going to rule it. A pass, but maybe not. Florida's got the ball right now. No indication yet. Was his arm going forward? They say no. I don't think so. For Sean Joseph, number 11, the blitz. Todd Grantham is known for it. Polite 99 and Joseph 11. Let's see who got the exact play. Coming around the corner this way. 99's going to get it. He strips it. All out blitz. That caused the angle for Polite to get there, and he strips it. And I don't think he was thrown. I think that. Maybe a blitz coming off the corner. They're going to bring it. Franks is in trouble. Got out of it. Long way to go to run for it. And oh, what a hit. He's within a foot, I think. What did we talk? Your signing day to go to Florida. The punt. Taken at the 15 and dropped for a couple yard loss. Tyree Cleveland on the special teams. Nice play by the starting wide receiver. It's to be fast. And he got there and made the wrap up, didn't he? Nick Brosette. He's going to get dumped for a couple yard loss. Nice force by Sean Joseph. What a play defensively by Jabari Zuniga. Zuniga, polite, making those plays inside. There he is, the left defense, right defensive end for Florida on the left side of the LSU line. And he makes, gets into the backfield and makes the play. 140 is going to get the ball in the same spot. Swain's an excellent punt returner. If he can get his hands on one from the 45. Not going to get away. Nice job on the special teams that time as well by Todd Harris. 40. I would too if I was him. Pump fake. The throw is complete. The Swain up. The ball came out. Freddie Swain had his hands on it. Ripped out of there by Kerry Vincent. Jonathan Giles way down on the other end. Calls a fair catch and back pedals to the five. Maybe should have let that one go. Black. Burrow. Backside pressure, down he goes again. Rashawn Joseph with a big sack. Number 11 right here, watch the running back come out and just whip. That had to be a busted assignment by that LSU offensive line because two guys can't come clean like that. You gotta be careful of Gervon Rosenberg way in your own end zone. Freddie Swain has it around the 43. 
P. Ryan trying to follow his blockers. Oh, what a run again. Still going. First and goal, Florida. It was a great cut. Six. He needs six inches. Easy walk in. LaMichael P. Ryan touchdown. Well, he got him there. He deserved it. First third down converted by the Gators, and they're a point away from tying it up. Play action for Burrow. Far sideline, easy pitch and catch. Stephon Sullivan and a first down from the 50. They'll give him a try, and that didn't work out so well. I tell you, LSU's going to have to open it up. Top eight, three, Gardner Johnson. Burrow, more pressure from the backside. He's going down again. Well, Sean Joseph, he didn't let the guy get away that time. They cannot be stopped going to the quarterback. They believe their end rushers have an advantage, and so far they are right. Front four, that's how many they'll bring. Burrow's going to throw a middle screen to Brosset. Wow, he almost got the first down. Well, and this is a... They threw him an 85-yarder for a touchdown, but they're going to keep it out of his hands as best they can. They'll down it inside the 10 around the 9. Or own 10-yard line. Jordan Scarlett got 11. I tell you, you got to be good when you make number 40. White miss the tackle. Sure, on third down. Franks again put his head down and didn't get there. Yeah, that's where they needed Tebow. Yeah, but he's not no, in he's, pads. He's not. Didn't mean to slight. Didn't mean to slight Dak Prescott in that conversation. Oh yeah, either. forgot about him so fast. Oh, did he touch the ball? He got out of it anyway. He did. And it was Cleveland again down there to kind of caused the commotion on their own 22 straight handoff and another good run by Edwards Elair got a first down right at him put it on their body and they'll catch it and then on third and one your quarterback takes off running as he did a week ago for 96 yards and a touchdown this time on third and short he rips off a big one you know you blitz sometimes you're right and sometimes you're wrong that time they were playing the running back on against this attacking defense. They give it to the tailback, and I think he's got it. I don't know. I thought his knee came down. It's pretty, it's really close. I think it's just short, Ness. Yep, you're right if that's where they're going to put it. it was it's not going to be a first down if they let this kick attempt go from 32 yards. And it doesn't matter anymore. And Cole Tracy drills it. As he has 10 other times already this year. Down to three. And nobody to fake it to, but the pitch is good on the corner. And it's Pirine. And he's in LSU territory at the 45 yard line. I got three to the 45. And now the quick throw out on the flat to Van Jefferson. Jefferson, let's see where they spot him. He might have gotten another first down. I think he did. Franks on play action, steps up, going deep to the corner, got his man. Is he in? Touchdown. Josh Hammond. Got a free safety in the middle of the field, and he takes the bait on the play. He's got to play outside. He's got help in the middle. It was a perfect throw, and you see the step out right and there. And a perfect Chick-fil-A pylon cam to show you that his left foot did go out at the three. Three, P. Ryan with Franks. There's the fade back in the throw to the corner. Now it's a touchdown. Morrow Stevens. It's going to be Brosette wasting a little time but gaining nothing and now timeout Florida after a pickup of one you would expect it is stopped at 28 seconds. This one as well. Here's the punt upcoming and they have the return on for Freddie Swain but he's got to call a fair catch at the 30. And, and then I can distort the defense. Here's Felipe off play action on first down going long man out there and he got him on the run a flag. Josh Hammond has it all the way down to the 26 yard line on the first play of the third quarter. Yeah, I'm not sure, but the came out of the background. See a perfect pass. You had it exactly on target. Would be a 49 yard play. There's the flag flying in. Jordan, number 64. There were two fouls against the play against LSU. Oh, pass interference. Number 25. 
That penalty is canceled. Personal foul, hands in the face, 45. That penalty being forced 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. Pick up plus the penalty. And now on first down, Franks wants more. To the end zone. Intercepted. And it's Delpit with the pick in the end zone. Middle of the field, you gotta know that pre-snap. Tough to go down the middle of the field when you got number nine sitting in the middle of it. But the man is Jefferson. Burrow, here comes that backside pressure again. He feels it, but he's gonna run with it and he's not gonna get there. That's nice that. job by David Reese again. Gotta tuck this one inside the 10 somewhere. End over end. Kick. And fielded and drops. Ball is out. LSU's on top of it, but it was a mop. I, I don't know if he called a fair catch or not. Yeah, I think it's going to be interference, though. I think Florida's going to get this ball back. That's right. There's the fair catch called for. And yeah, he was inside he too close. Chance. Nope. That's going to be Florida football. Kick catch interference on the kicking team, number 27. 15 yard penalty. First down. They got a blitz. They're going to run. And P. Ryan's not going to get anywhere near the first down. So Florida's got to kick it. Oh. There is on goal line. And fair catch called for at the 41, maybe the 42 yard line by Giles. Second and 20. Chauncey Gardner also back in the game. Burrow, little short screen pass out. Edward Zelayer and look at the Gators swarm around him. When you hit. Joe Burrow pumps once. Now he's going to pull it down and try to keep it. One guy fell down, and then uh -oh. he got blasted out of bounds. If this isn't a flag, then they're going to force a punt, and it looks like it's okay. Well, cleanly, they're trying to get a return. This one's high and deep, and he's got to call a late fair catch around the eight-yard line. Third and two. Felipe Franks with time, short, but too short to Van Jefferson. Jefferson, I don't know if he ran the route too short or if that's all Franks had, but he's short of the first down. And he did not do it. Second straight three and out. So the punt away, fielded at the 44 by Giles. And Giles back to the 42-yard line of Florida. Great field position again. If Florida's going to have to get their defense right back out there. LSU, though, as they start in Gator territory at the 42. Oh, Burrow got rid of it more with the catch. That's a spectacular play. Wow. That's a play that you just hope that your quarterback can make. It's impossible to teach. You spin around, you got a guy in your face, and throw it accurately all within less than a second. Come. Burrow throws the slant, and it's swallowed up by who else? Chauncey Gardner Johnson. It's we'll try a 42 yarder here to make it a one point game, and it is up and good. Here comes a blitz for the secondary, Franks. And he one hops it. Closest guy was Piron. And it's a good thing he did because there was nobody to throw to on the play. He's a punt returner. Oh, Townsend, great. whoa! Great punt. Wow. And Giles one hops it back around the 15. And now coming the other way, and he's got a pretty good return. And then falls on his own at around the 33 yard line. And then on third and 15, Burrow. Fires in the middle, complete, but way short of the first down. Derek Dillon in that Gator defense in number 33 and number 11, and they're there again. And this is a dandy as well. Freddie Swain backpedaling over his head, and he's just going to have to leave it right there. It's going to be down around right. the 16-yard line. Back, that was successful on the goal line. Oh, nice miss there, and Scarlett, I don't know how he made that guy miss in the backfield to get what he got. Garland's supposed to be the power back. <laughs> Mika Bakersfield, number 23, comes into the backfield and just, I don't want to. Caleb on chase on would have been that guy. He's out for the year. Franks trying to buy himself some time. Throws, and it is complete to Kadarius Tony. Short of the first down. Does Tony get his foot down? Let's take a look here. Uh, I don't, I don't think. Well, we can't tell in that one. It's his right foot. Boy, that's bang bang. Oh, that 
much too far. So he didn't keep it in the field of play, even though Cleveland was down there trying. Only 19 yards in the third quarter. Here's Brosette finding him some room and some help. Nick Brosette all the way out to the 50. Going into that play, the longest run of the day was by Joe Burrow for 21 yards. He's five years older, played defensive back. Here comes Brosette. And Nick Brosette on the way. Two biggest runs of the day, and it's first and goal. We're having trouble, guys, protecting the quarterback. You're going to have to man up and make some blocks. You've got to help this offense out. You've got to block them up front. There's no way to run away from it. Let's see if Joe Burrow takes it himself. Nope, keeps it on the ground inside. Touchdown. Nick Brosette, he did all the work, and he got the final yard. Five yards coming into that game, and they went to the ground, and they took it to him. Jefferson. They fake it to him on the sweep. Burrow throwing to the back corner, broken up. Trey Dean, the freshman, knocks it away from Derek Dillon. He... Franks fires one. Back shoulder throw and a beauty. Van Holy Jefferson. Cow. Greedy Williams on Van Jefferson. Watch this throw in. Grant Delpit comes over and rips him. What a play. What concentration. Homer took a tough one. They did. Well, they tried this play earlier. It was big. It is again. LaMichael P. Ryan all the way to the 32. LSU can't stop this one, Gear. And Devin White on that play as well. Here's Franks on the run. His coach wanted to be tough running. He does there to get inside the 20 down to the 17. Hey, let's see if they can get another one. Here's an end around pass. Back to Flex to the three. Lucas Crow, a lefty, took the handoff and went right back to his quarterback. Dan Mullen loves the gadget plays. You bring in a new player. No one at LSU knows he's left-handed. The only reason I did is he threw that in practice the other day. <laughs> at the two-yard line. P. Ryan off tackle. Touchdown, Florida. What an answer. And now Florida will go for two. Two-point conversion. Franks rolls, getting pressure, has to throw it away. And it showed up today. Burrow trying to buy himself a little time. Now he's going to tuck it and run it, and he's got a first down. Almost tripped himself up and would have been short. Joe Burrow hit again, trying to throw it. And it was... Swain's going to let this one go, and it's going to be a beauty for LSU. Got around the three somewhere. They keep it on the ground at P. Ryan. Not going to get there. And you got to take a timeout. Yates on the other end. Oh, what a punt. And again, Giles has to backpedal about 20 yards to make the catch at the eight. Trying to look for a block. Got one, but he'll only get out to the 12. You talk about flipping the field. Blitz. It's intercepted by Florida. Brad Stewart. Touchdown. This be an eight-point game. Joe Burrow threw his first interception of the year, but the game is not over. An extra point here makes it an eight-point game. Burrow in trouble. Goes down again. It's C.C. Jefferson. No, it's polite take again. A time out. Burrow steps up. Throw it. Out. Down he goes again. Another sack. Zuniga that time. That's sack number five. He just got to throw the ball. Burrow loads it. Deep middle. Got it complete. Derek Dillon. It's intercepted. Game over. 
Derek Dillon thought he had the seam down the middle. Did he? Looks like it would have been a tough squeeze to me. No real place to throw the football. Good defense. A three straight SEC wins, keeping pace in the SEC East with a huge win at home. We said it a few minutes ago. Who's a pretender? Who's a contender? Both these teams at five and one, and I will wager to say they're both still contenders. Last chance, the last gasp, and the interception by Donovan Steiner finishes it off for Dan Mullins Gators. When you're a defensive coordinator and you dial them right, that's what it feels like.